Within this video, I want to start exploring the ideas of confidence and of self-efficacy. And I'm pretty confident, if you pardon the pun, that most of you will have a sort of vague understanding what we mean by confidence, and but fewer of you will kind of recognise the term self-efficacy. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of look at these concepts in their own right. And then sort of towards the second half of this video, I'm going to talk to you specifically about Bandura's model of self-efficacy theory or his theory of self-efficacy. I'm going to try and present that to you and we're going to relate it to the example of swimming. So first of all, let's first understand confidence. Confidence is a feeling that one can be success, uh, successful with a challenge, right? That, that makes sense. But generally speaking, we consider confidence to be to some degree a trait level experience okay so when we say confidence we kind of mean someone's like global confidence their their belief that they can be successful in a general sense whereas when we talk about self-efficacy self-efficacy we're really referring to an idea of state state confidence okay state confidence so what do i mean by that well, I mean that with self-efficacy, it's a confidence feeling or appreciation that could actually change with different circumstances, with a different level of challenge. If we take a support network away, someone's self-efficacy could actually go down. So let's just look at this swimming example. We've got this young female, I think. Um, we've got this female who's learning to swim. She's got a number of sort of flotation devices around her, one on her back, this this uh, bar, sort of uh, barbell style flotation device in front of her. And she's got what appears to be a swimming coach or a swimming teacher there to support her. So she's probably got relatively high state confidence. But if we imagine a scenario where a number of these implements or even this person themselves was taken away, this person might experience uh a reactive drop in self-efficacy. What we're saying is that someone's confidence is more global than that. It's more uh, all-encompassing than that. If we use the term confidence, it, it means more their trait level. What's their character like? How confident are they more within their kind of person? So just first of all, to differentiate be uh, between those things. And I want you to straight away start to think about if we're arguing that state's confidence or in the form of self-efficacy can be manipulated what influence does that have for the sports coach for the PE teacher for the teammate for the team manager and also for anyone who's working what we might sort of call the health and lifestyle health and lifestyle sort of area because one of the things of course we touch on in this course a great deal is how do the, do the kind of the theories we're addressing, how do they actually relate to health and lifestyle? How can we use them or the components of them to actually encourage more people to make more positive, balanced, active, healthy lifestyle decisions? So we can start to think about um, those concepts straight away. So all that being said and all that kind of background being more or less understood at this point, I'm going to introduce you to Bandura's, to Bandura's theory of self-efficacy. Bandura's theory of of self-efficacy and it's one of the most respected uh, respected theories related to confidence and self-efficacy which is why we look at it and of course because it's 